Dustin with Mega Geek Gaming, and today we are going to be playing Until Dawn because it is supposed to be really freaky. I have been waiting for this game for like three years to come out, especially when I heard it was like a mashup of like a horror movie and survival horror game. Um, now, I know there's going to be QTEs and stuff like that, but this is basically you play a horror movie, so you can't beat that. I mean, that's awesome, especially if you know me, I love freaking horror. So, I'm just waiting. It's supposed to have all these multiple choices. You play as eight different characters who can die or possibly survive, depending on the choices that you make. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this like it is an actual horror movie. That's bad decisions and all. So, this should be fun. Let's, 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 let's hope it's fun at least. It'll be fun for me. Fun for you watching. Who knows? Probably not. Here we go. I've already went in, kind of tweaked the settings, make sure there were subtitles, you know, that kind of stuff. But this is my first actual play, so. Okay, just cabin in the woods type thing. Machete. Always a good time. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. <laughs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit Oh, come on. She deserves it. Yet it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Okay. And there's Hayden Pen Penitentiaria, Pen Pen Panamania, Penitentiary. I don't know. Heroes girl. weekend. Josh. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm controlling now. Okay. Okay. Right sticks move. Move her head around. Nice. Of course, walk. You know what? Well, I guess I can't go upstairs, but hey. Is I can't freaking leave either. Of course not. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? okay. What are two? Oh, oh, cool. Jeremiah Craig. Straight bourbon whiskey. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh, all. Oh, it's my brother. And he's an alcoholic, apparently. Oh, it's just okay. It automatically goes to this. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh, you douchebag. That's what they're planning. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I know, right? Now? That's horrible. I got your note. I'm glad you could make it. Maybe we 
should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. So, nudity already? Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Is that a selfie Hannah? stick? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this is all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh, Horrible teenagers being horrible? Check for horror movie. Use the right stick to choose, okay? Uh, uh, brother's drunk. We're gonna find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay. Oh, shit! QTEs, check! All right, uh, horror movie, we're gonna have to go the fast route because it's a horrible thing that is probably gonna end up to me getting killed. Okay, there we go. The noise, of course. Horror movie. Oh, there she is. Use a touch. Okay. Nice flashlight. Hannah. Oh, it's even doing the creepy camera angles. Why would you? Damn it. Okay, you got me. You got me. You got me, game. I'll give you that. You got me. Pick that up. That looks horrifying. Yes, I'm picking it up. The totem thing? Totem pole? Okay. A death totem. Okay. Good. Let's say R1. What is R1 do? Okay. It gives me the totems there. Totems, death, guidance, loss, danger, and fortune. Death, this bears horribly. Hmm. Indig indigenous tribes believe the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Lovely. So, one of us is going to die. Not good, not good. All right, all right. Anything else? Can I go over here? Mm. 
the hell is that? What was that up there? Fucking flamethrower? Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Come on, Hannah, get your shit together. We gotta Hannah. get her. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah? There's a good the phone. Jesus Christ. No! No! Shit! No. Okay, why does this dude see like this? Fuck! No! Ah! Oh, of course. Of course. We let go, we might be able to both make it. <sighs> nope. And that was the vision. I just murdered us both. Yay, horror movies. Just murdered us both. Okay. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. This is creepy. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Wait. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of Wait. those around you. Wait, is he talking? So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Whoa, right. okay. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? This is creepy as fuck. I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel. Okay, this is cool. It, it is essential you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh, that is so creepy. Okay. This is creepy as hell. <laughs> I'm not sh I'm not sure if he's talking to me, the player, and if this is just some sort of weird little thing that's going to affect the game. Or if this is... If this is like... Is this the killer? Or is this... Oh, man. This is... Well done, game. Well done. That's creepy. And... I That looks... Ex I can't remember the actor, but that looks like an, an actor. Super weird. I mean, it's almost like they've gotten past the whole Uncanny Valley thing. It's still a little bit there, but the facial expressions and stuff he was doing right there... Holy shit, that was creepy. Like, and not creepy as in, uh, but creepy as in, this dude might be a lunatic. Okay. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh, that's creepy. Anything else? Just a scarecrow picture? That's creepy. Creepy, Doc. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It was creepy. It made you, yeah, fucking uneasy as hell. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? That damn scarecrow. This is a fucking scarecrow. It's a scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Uh. No. No. Oh, no? Why not? Because it's creepy. It's still creepy. I mean, it's out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and it's just a corn thing. I mean, it. Would I be lonely or I'd be scared? I'd be, I think I'd be more scared. I'd be more scared. Is there something else? Oh, that was that fucked up. Sure, that scares you. Actually, you know what? You're creeping me out. I don't know. That farmhouse is kind of creepy, but I'm not. No, it's just something. No, it's, it's just it's just creepy. It's creepy. Oh, that's it's creepy. I mean, do I need? Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? The thing that's driving you fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? But the next time. Oh. Hmm? Uh. Oh, this is. This makes me uneasy. That dude makes me uneasy as hell. What is this? Is this like a flash forward? A flash back? Just some sort of weird little thing to get inside my head to make me make decisions in the game? Well done. Opening credit scene. Nice. How long have I been recording? I've been recording for 17 minutes. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and. We'll go ahead and keep rolling. Pretty cool song. Won't you spare me over till another year? This is so far has been promising. Uh, I'm not real sure where they're gonna go with that, especially with the whole therapy angle. But, um, yeah, it's, this intro is pretty good, too. The production values are amazing in this game. Don't even get me wrong, but the production values seem to be a fucking amazing right here. Uh, just... That's, that's my phone because I'm a super professional at this. But this is a uh, rather interesting. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah. So they never Josh. found the bodies. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! 
So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. He's still kind of creepy. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget i'm not sure right? party like a porn yes. star is a good thing fun maybe not the good thing phone again because remember I'm a professional <laughs> turn that down This might be a long episode, maybe about 40 minutes, 50, maybe closer to an hour. Memento Mori! Mori! 10 hours until dawn. Am I playing? Am I playing now? Nope. Oh, creepy guy with a machete, of course. He's wearing mittens, though. Looked like he was wearing mittens. Oh my god, look at my backpack and my hat. Totally at orbs, guys. Totally at orbs. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Whoa, okay. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Okay, so this is obviously the main character. She's probably going to end up being the final girl, unless, you know, you have you can kill anybody and it passes on to her, and then I'll probably end up accidentally killing her first. But uh, that is a really good model. Oh, my God. This is, like, re a really pretty game. <laughs> okay, all right, which is going to be awful when they start getting murdered because it's going to be, ugh. Ooh. Hello? Someone there? Oh, that was a creepy point of view. Just just casually walking in the snow, okay? Super creepy. Super creepy indeed. Oh, wait. Wait, what was that? Is that the only one? Okay. Little note. Gates busted. Climb over. Gates busted. Climb over. Chris. Oh, oh what's that? Chris sent 20th December to Joshua directions. Yo, how do I get there? Uh, towards Calgary. We're in Canada. We're in Canada. All my northern neighbor friends. Okay, sweet. Okay, let's just try to open this. Or do I climb up through here? Or... Of course. You know what would be really horrible if this... Oh. Over there. If this literally... You go to climb over and this is what kills Hannah Pantera's character, Sam. That would be... Okay. She's going to be... She's the main character, obviously, so... She's going to play it safe. 
She's going to be the safe girl. She's going to be the one that tries to do everything safe. Skirt there, Sam. The really. How did he already get across the fence? That is the creepiest freaking breathing ever. Uh, oh, obviously. The atmosphere is really good in this game. Oh, it's a squirrel. When the don't move icon is on screen, keep the wireless. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen. Evil tree rats do not just come eat out of your hand. They will probably eat your face off. But okay, that's going to be cool. The whole keeping the controller still. That's going to be cool. I wonder if it does it just by the thing. It must do it just by the thing. That's going to be like when you're hiding. Oh, yeah. That's going to be amazing. Let's look around. This is really creepy. Why are we coming up here again? I don't think we should have came up here. What is this? Plaque? What is that? Indigenous people and butterfly properties. The tribes who once lived in the mountains believed that butterflies fairy dreams and prophecies to possible futures. The color of the but butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecies. Death. Black butterflies prophesied... <gasps> oh! The Hannah chick had a black butterfly tattoo. Did y'all see that at the beginning? She was already marked for death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Y yellows. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. So, am I going to be looking for butterflies or these little weird little symbolisms? Is this going to be like a sixth sense kind of thing where I'm looking for small little things here and there? Oh, fuck. Yellow one. That's guidance. That's a yellow one. Is that supposed to be a butterfly? It's painted yellow, so I'm assuming that's what it is. Why am I picking this up? Oh, it's okay. Guidance totem. Yep, it was. Press R1. Let's see what that is. Yep, that's all that is. Goes right. Wait, hold on. Events of the past. Wait. And driven man. The fuck was that all about? Okay, you know what? Let's look at that real quick. Okay, character info. Obviously, the R1 and L1 buttons cycle through this whole thing. Character traits. Okay, there we go. Uh, she's pretty much friends with, eh, pretty much everybody. Not so much with Jess and Mike. R1, the twins, I don't know what this is. Zero of 20 clues collected. Mystery man. Totems. Butterfly effect. Oh. Oh, these are going to be all the... The things. Character info back. Nice. Well done, game. Very nice and put together. <laughs> There's a backpack. Somebody's always obviously already here. Where are they at? Taking a piss? What is this? Wow, graffiti all the way up here. 
past is beyond our control. Hey, isn't that what the therapy guy said? Is there anything else up here? Anything? 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 Yes, I'm probably going to be wandering around looking for stuff unless I'm being chased by a psychopathic killer. I don't want to really go back up there. Let's check out. Chris? You here? Okay, let's check in. I guess maybe see if this is Chris. The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello? What do we have here? Would she do this? She wouldn't do this. She wouldn't snoop. Maybe I should be pulling up for this stuff. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ash Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Also looks like he's 30. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Oh god, I know somebody that talks like this. Why am I, why are we walking back here? This doesn't sound like a good idea. Who was this? Oh man, look at Victor this. Victor Milligram. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? First degree like arson offense. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Huh. Nobody comes up here. I wonder if he's the bad guy. July 1998. Oh, wow. Okay. That's been up here for a while. Ta-da. Pretty rad, right? Look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word. What is that it? Comes what is we? Mind. What are we looking at? Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Hmm. Here goes. Tutorial. I guess this is where we're shooting stuff. Are we play oh we're playing as Chris. Oh, okay. Look at me, I'm good. I'm good. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right. I'm bad. I'm a bad Oh god, I know this guy. Go Swear to god I know this guy. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Mm. Oh no, I'm not shooting the evil tree rat. Even though I hate them, that's kind of a dick move just to shoot a damn just to shoot an evil tree rat. Shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Oh, lots of replay value, I can already see. I could have possibly been a dick and shot the squirrel. I wonder if he can see anything that I can't. Probably the same thing. There it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here you go. Yeah, hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy.
Yeah, that is kind of creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. I don't know if I need to trust this Chris fella. I just don't know. Let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Hotel and sanatorium. What? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. That must be nice. Let's just buy a freaking mountain. Is that a, is that a tub? Is it gonna switch back? Okay, that's weird. Anything else? Anything else I can look at? What we got there? 36, 36 minutes. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. All right, we're just gonna stop it right here, and um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like this so far. But uh, we're going to take a break, and we're going to continue with episode two later. So, uh, yeah, guys, this was Until Dawn, and um, my first full LP that I'm going to try to LP the entire game. And uh, like I said, I'm really excited for this. I love horror movies, so this seems to be awesome. So I will see you guys in just a few. Later. Bye.